Welcome to STAB exam forum. In this video, we are going to see previous year questions on general awareness, right student? And uh, this will be the part one of this general awareness section, right? Next slide, please. Coming to the disclaimer, all these questions which we are presenting right now are memory based and uh, these have been collected from students feedback, right student? Second, uh, the wording might not be the same as us in the exam, okay? And uh, these questions uh, were from the exam held on 15 to 19 December 2018. That is basically September 9, both evening and morning shift. Okay, student? So let's see the questions what they have asked. So uh, we will give 10 seconds for each question. Uh, you try to answer uh, those questions, uh, whether you are able to uh, answer those questions because this is from the static GK. Okay, students? So let's see the first question. Uh, which of the following expressions does not figure in the preamble of Indian constitution? So uh, these are the four options. So let's start the timer. Yes, student. These are the four options. Uh, which one uh, does not figure in the preamble of the Indian constitution? Okay. So time's up. Student, uh, as you know, all these A, B, C, secular, socialist, sovereign, democratic, republic are there in preamble, but not the federal one. So the correct answer is option D, federal. All right, student? Yes. Uh, are you ready for the next question? So the second question, uh, it is from the history. Which river did Alexander Troop refuse to cross? Okay. These are the four options and your time starts now. These are the four options. Bias, Chenab, Satluj and Jhilam. These are the four options. Just tell me the right one. Yes, you are correct. Option A, uh, Bias River is the correct answer. Uh, this Alexander to refuse to cross. Okay, so the correct answer is Bias River. Okay, coming to the next question, uh, who was the youngest Indian freedom fighter who was hanged? Okay, these are the four options, and your time starts now. So the options are Khudiram Bose, Bhagat Singh, Ram Prasad Bismil, Chandrasekhar Azad. Yes, you are right. Khudi Ram Bose, option A is the correct answer for this question. So Khudi Ram Bose, okay. He is the youngest Indian freedom fighter who was hanged, okay. Coming to the next question. This is again from the history. Medieval Chandela dynasty was founded by whom? These are the four options and your time starts now. Chandela Nanuka Parvesh Varman or Nrishima, these are the four options. Yes, student? Yes, you are right. Uh, option B, Nanuka is the correct answer. So, Nanuka uh, found the dynasty, Chandela dynasty. Okay. I hope you are liking this uh, thing. Okay. Coming to the next question. So, this is from Polity. Which uh, Governor General was called as father of local self-government in India. So, okay. And your time starts now. The options are Lord Ripon, Lord Wellesley, Lord Canning, Lord Banting. Yes, student. Very good. If you have answered Lord Ripon, Lord Ripon is also known as father of local self-government. Local self-government means what? Panchayati Raj. Okay. Coming to the next question. Surat is situated on which river? Okay, Surat is situated on which river? Okay, your time starts now. So these are the four options Mahanadi, Krishna, Tapti, Narmada. Yes, student. Yes, you are right. Option C, Tapti is the correct answer. Surat is situated on Tapti river. Okay, coming to the next question, it is from the polity. Uh, which has become a legal right under 44th Amendment of Indian Constitution. Okay, so your time starts now. Is this right to education, right to property, 
right to judicial uh, remedies or right to work yes if you answered right to prep property uh, well and good uh, this is the correct answer coming to the next question the english established their first factory in india at which of the following cities okay this is from history and your time starts now so these are the four option bombay surat sultanati madras okay our uh, first factory in india yes uh, all of those who have given the answer surat uh, they are right surat is a city where uh, english established their first factory okay coming to the next question this is from indian polity first meeting of constitutional assembly held in new delhi on which date these are the four options and your time starts now yes student uh, just uh, recollect the dates you have in your mind yes the correct answer is option a 9th december 1946 this is the very important date where first meeting of constitutional assembly held in new delhi okay so the correct answer is option a coming to the next question who was the prime minister of india in year 1991 <coughs> sorry who introduced economic liberalization okay and your time starts now these are the four options vp singh rajiv gandhi pv narsimha rao chandrashekhar this is very uh, confusing one so all these present uh, presidents or uh, prime ministers were uh, in the year 1991 and uh, the correct answer is pv narsimha rao he was the prime minister who introduced economic liberalization okay coming to the next question this is again from polity which article empowers the parliament to form a new states by separation of parts of territory of an established state okay and your time starts now so you have to tell the articles uh, which empowers parliament to form a new states okay yes article 3 is the correct answer article 3 empowers the parliament to form a new state okay so remember article 3 is related to formation of new state okay coming to the next question uh, which type of desert is sahara desert these are the four options and your time starts now is it a cold desert hot desert or both hot and cold or the mild desert yes as most of you have given the correct answer this is the hot desert okay sahara desert is a hot desert right student coming to the next question this is from history which of the following british act give exclusive trade privilege to british east india company these are the four options and your time starts now is it regulating act pits india act charter act 19, 1793 or company act yes student those who have given option c as a answer they are correct charter act 1793 is the correct answer uh, this act give exclusive privilege to british east india company to trade okay coming to the next question sahiwal district is in which state pre independence okay these are the four option uh this is very easy one punjab haryana j and k or none of this yes you are right punjab is the correct answer sahiwal district uh, is in punjab right now okay coming to the next question uh, this is from the invader uh, in history okay and uh, question says which of the following is in correct chronological order okay and your time starts now this is very difficult one uh, if in the exam uh, you can uh, simply quit if you don't know the answer okay so the correct option is option d sarkars kushans and greeks okay this is the correct chron chronological orders of the invaders in india okay coming to the next question special status to jammu and kashmir is given by which indian constitution article okay these are the four option and this is very easy one and your time starts now so is it article 
370 और 377. Your time's up. Uh, the correct answer is option C, Article 370, uh, which gives special status to G and K. Okay. Coming to the next question, this is very easy one. Article 1 of the Indian Constitution declare India to be. These are the four options: Union of State, Federal State, Quasi-Federal State, Unitary State. Yes, student. Yes, most of you are right. It is option A, Union of State. Article 1 is related to the India declare India to be Union of State. Okay, the correct answer is option A. Coming to the next question, uh, this is again from Polity and your time starts now. It is uh, in related to Panchayati Raj. Who was the chairman of that Panchayati Raj committee in 1997? Okay. And uh, this is very popular one. Balwant Rai Mehta committee uh, also known as Balwant Rai Mehta committee. So Balwant Rai Mehta was the chairman of that committee to examine Panchayati Raj. Okay. Coming to the next question, you have to fi find out the odd one out. So odd one out can also come in exam and your time starts now. So these are the four options, Gauri, Aibak, Mahmood, Babar. Yes, student, passed. Yes, uh, you are right, Babar is the correct answer. So Babar uh, does not belong to other three. Okay, so he is the odd man out. Okay. Coming to the next question, which of the river flows through Gujarat and Maharashtra? This is from geography and your time starts now. These are the four options, Tapti, Krishna, Godavari or none of these. Yes, your time's up. Krishna and Godavari both flows uh, in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. So the correct answer is Tapti which flows through Gujarat and Maharashtra. Okay, so option A is the correct. Coming to the uh, next question, which river passes through Jojila Pass? Okay, uh, and your time starts now. These are the four options: Dras River, Jhelum, Bias, Satluj. Okay, these are uh, the five uh, rivers. Dras is not uh, in that. Okay, so the correct answer is option A. Dras. Dras is the river which passes through Jojila Pass. Okay, option A is the correct. Coming to the next question, which of the Indian state does not share border with China? Okay, and your time starts now. This is very easy one. Is it West Bengal, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh or Sikkim? Those who have answer option A, well and good. Uh, West Bengal is a state which does not share border with China. Right, student? Coming to the next question, which is the India's oldest mountain range? Okay oldest mountain range in India and your time starts now this, this is very easy one these are the four options Vindyachal, Aravli, Satpura or none of these yes this is very simple one option B Aravli range is the correct answer for this question right student coming to the next question Jalapla mountain pass is located in which state and your time starts now so this mountain pass, I will give you a hint. It is it connect India to the Tibet. Yes, you are right. Sikkim is the correct answer. Okay, Sikkim is uh, the state where Jalapla mountain pass is located. Okay. <coughs> Coming to the next question, which is nearest country to India after Sri Lanka by sea? Okay, Sri Lanka is the first country uh, after which uh, which country is nearest to India? Okay. Yes, those who have given option C, Maldives is the answer. Those are right. Maldives is the correct answer. Coming to the next question, this is from history. Which was the founder of Maurya dynasty? Chandragupta Maurya, Chandragupta, Chandragupta II, Bimbisar, Bindusar. These are the four options you have to tell the founder of Maurya dynasty. This is very easy one. It is option A, Chandragupta Maurya is a founder of Maurya dynasty. Right, student? Coming to the next question, who started Saka era? Saka era, who has started? Okay, these are the four options. Uh, okay, yes, uh, those who have given option D, Kanishka, as their answer, they are right. Option D is the correct answer for 
this question coming to the next question which of the following state has tropical rainforest options are himachal pradesh madhya pradesh andaman nicobar and rajasthan tropical rainforest are also called evergreen forest okay those who have given andaman nicobar island well and good they are correct option c is the correct answer uh that's all today we have covered static gk on uh, history polity and geography these questions were asked uh, on that exam so accordingly you can see the uh, level of exam okay how much uh, difficult is that or are you able to answer all these questions we will come with the next video in that video we will see the current affairs question that was asked in 2018 okay i hope you like this video if you like this video share with your friend more and more thank you have a nice day